tuning in to another episode of FIFA get your rating so if you haven't checked it out already episodes 1 and 2 have already been released episode 1 being pace and episode 2 uh, giving us our dribbling rating so episode 3 we're gonna be covering our FIFA physical stat now episodes 4 5 and 6 we still got passing we still got shooting and we still got defending to do now I cannot wait to do passing and I cannot wait to do shooting. Those are definitely gonna be very, very fun videos to do because it's gonna be requiring me to be doing some shooting uh, challenges, some passing challenges, and then of course we also got defending rating at the very end, which we're gonna be doing last. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what FIFA Physical is all about. Now, FIFA Physical, it's based off of your jumping, which we've got a challenge which we're gonna be using this pole for. All right, no more vibrating fam. We got stamina which is very similar to pace, but it's not. Pace is based off of how fast can you do, how fast can you run or how fast can you sprint in a given amount of space. Stamina is how long can you run for. Now in soccer, you're not running 100 meter dashes left and right of the field all over the place. That's just running like a jackass. Now in soccer, you just gotta go from A to B as quickly as possible. Now, as you guys can see, if you see players play in the game, You'll notice that they're doing this a little bit. They're doing a little bit of this, side skipping. That's that. That's movement. Now, how much space do they cover in a game? It's it's a lot compared to most sports, as I covered in the pace video. It's roughly about six miles ish on average, and that's and it goes even higher with some of the other players, uh, especially those that play full games, full 90 minute pluses. Um, basically, soccer covers a lot of ground, especially when you're on the pitch, not as a goalkeeper, but especially if you're on the pitch. Now. It's, it's, it's basically how fast can you get from A to B. So how fast can you get from here to let's say there as quickly as possible. But when it comes to stamina, we're just basically gonna base it off of uh, how long can I go for? And uh, there's also strength involved as well as aggression. Now, strength and aggression, I kind of wanted to incorporate more in the defending video or the defending episode, but I do have to get a rating in this episode. So how are we gonna be doing this? Jumping height total, minus my reach total. So how we're gonna be doing this first part is I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a reach. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it off with uh, tape and pen. And I'm also gonna go ahead and do a height. And that's exactly how they do it. That's how you get your jumping stat. And then however much that total score is, is going to go into your rating. Uh, we also got the stamina portion. You're gonna get 10 points per mile. And the maximum I'm gonna give anybody is five because it is a little bit below the average, but the average is five to six. So it's pretty much right on the bottom of the average. Um, the average uh, person in soccer moves five to six miles. Of course, you can go even higher than that. And of course, some of them that don't play a full game do lower than that. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and cap it out, especially for points purposes for this video or this series or this uh, section of the series of FIFA physical. Because if I did do 10 points per six miles or seven miles, your rating might be over 100. It would make no sense. So we're gonna go ahead and cap it out at five miles. So I basically gotta do five miles of running. I'm gonna to try to do it on a treadmill if I can. If not, we'll go ahead and figure out what we do in that part of the video when we get there. And last but not least, strength and aggression. Now, the lowest rating on FIFA foot is 27 for both strength and aggression of uh, physical stat. I'm gonna go ahead and automatically incorporate that no matter what, because the rest of these points are gonna go ahead and determine what our FIFA physical is. So go ahead and start off with a 27 no matter what. And then uh, based off of your mileage and based off of your jumping height total minus jumping or uh, your reach total, uh, that will give you your full physical uh, rating. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and do the, um, the jumping portion of our physical. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and do the, the mileage or the stamina portion. And then we've already given ourselves our rating for the or our points for strength and aggression. And then I want to go ahead and incorporate that more in the defending aspect or your defending rating. So stay tuned for that. But go ahead and give yourself or start off with 27 points. And then we'll go with stamina. And then we'll go with uh, jumping, which will give us our total physical rating. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do the jumping portion. Alrighty, so I've got a tall enough pole. You could use a wall, whatever you want. That is going to give you your uh, jumping height minus your, uh, minus your reach. 
So I'm going to go ahead, I have a measurement tape right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and use actual tape with the numbers to go ahead and pinpoint them on there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get my reach first, and then we'll go ahead and do my jumping. Uh, let's go ahead and get some tape out here. Easy to rip tape, because if it was anything else, I would be struggling here for like five years trying to get this tape to work. So, got this tape, I'm gonna rip it off. If it comes off, that'd be great. Easy ripping tape, fam. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and put the tape down there. Go ahead and, without stepping on anything else, you need a flat surface. Go ahead and get your reach as high as you can. And put tape right there. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the measurement tape. And then we're going to go ahead and see what that distance actually is. Perfect. This is the tape that actually locks. Awesome. So we're def definitely going to be going high here, boys. Definitely going to be going high here. Let's go ahead and pin that down. And see what that is. So we've got seven feet. Wow. What? Seven feet, one inch. Perfect. All right, I guess I can reach that tall. Seven foot, one inch. So I can reach an extra foot than how tall I am. So seven feet, one inch. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down on the tape here. Seven feet, one inch. And now we gotta go ahead and get my jumping total. So I don't want this. I don't want this. I need a piece of tape so I can go ahead and mark where I jump. And I'm actually going to do this three times. And the reason being is you want to warm up yourself. Um, I haven't stretched or done anything before doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself three trials on doing this. And uh, whichever one's the highest, I'm going to go ahead and take. Similar to how I did it on pace. Um, I did uh, three 100 meter dashes to go ahead and get my total score or my total time. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to give myself three total jumps to go ahead and see how high I can actually get. So without further ado, let me go ahead and use the front of this portion or the front of this pole. The reason being is it's not flat on the side. So I'm gonna make sure I get correct. Correct, Amundo. So now you guys are gonna actually see my back for a little bit. So just bear with me here. So without further ado, see how high we can get. I can get higher than that. I know that for sure. All right. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to measure that. All right, let's see. And also, there's no running starts, so you can't. Yeah. You have to actually stay still and jump. All right, that's definitely, I got that twice. So that's definitely looking pretty, pretty decent or pretty, pretty Gucci. So let's go ahead and see what that is. It's the measurement from the middle of the tape, by the way. So let's go ahead and pinpoint this down and see what our measurement is going to look like. Perfect, all right, so let's see this. Now this is going to take some skills. If I can get this up there. And right about there is where the start is. So now I don't need that. I just need to pull this all the way down. And with that being said, what do we got? All right, so as you guys can see, um, we got 8.8, eight, which is currently 104. Uh, that's 104 inches. So we got 104 inches, which I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you right now so you guys can see. Get this measurement tape out of the way. So as you guys can see over here, we currently have uh, eight foot eight inches, which is 104 inches. Um, we got basically on the first one, let me go ahead and double check. We ended up getting seven foot one inch, which is 85 inches. So we got to subtract 104 from 85, which is going to give us our jumping total. So that will be... Boom! Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. 19, I believe. I believe it's 19. Can I do maths? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19, so 
Right now, our current rating is 27 plus 19, which is 39. So 46 is our current rating. So the max I could get is a 96 if I do all five miles in the stamina portion, which is exactly what I was expecting and hoping for to come out in the, uh, the physical. So the, uh, the scores and the tally ups work perfectly. So again, stick with 27 as your baseline. Go ahead and do your, um, your reach minus, or your jumping height total minus your reach, and then go ahead and do uh, one to five miles or whatever you guys can do. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over there. We're gonna do the stamina next, and then we'll go ahead and recap everything and get our actual physical FIFA rating. Catch you guys there. What's up everybody, Phil the Winitachi is back at it for part two of this video, or part three if you wanna call it that, because part one, but it's strength and all that, and we gave myself the lowest score possible. Part two, we ended up doing the uh, reach challenge, and in part three, we're gonna be doing the stamina challenge. So, I've got this track all to myself. I had to dig my way in, fam. If you know what I mean, I had to climb fences, do my stuff. Um, but basically, how it's gonna work is, like I said, five miles is max. Uh, you get 10 points per mile. Um, I'm not really that fit at the moment, but I'm gonna try to do my best. Um, you guys can start right in the middle, right in front of you guys. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys out just a little bit, but you're probably going to be missing the left and the right hand sides. But I'll give you guys as much as possible so you guys know I did do the running instead of uh, repeat clips. But, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this. There's no reason to cheat, anyways. So, yeah, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and do a total of 20 laps if possible because that will be max because it's uh, 4 laps per mile. 4 times 5 is 20. Without further ado, I'm going to catch you guys uh, when I'm out of breath. Uh, when I'm done doing as many laps as I possibly can. Uh, basically, if you do, let's say, 18 laps, that would be four and a half miles. It does not matter. You only get the points for the four. You do not get those additional five points. So, let's go ahead and get into it.
Your boy has completed the five miles. Okay, don't know how, sh how stretched for that was. So, first mile, Gucci. Second mile, you start me. You see me starting to slow down. I'm like, okay. After I finish the second mile, let's just get through mile three. I was like, I finished mile three. I was like, whoa. I'm Gucci fan. I'm Gucci. So I, I'm like, I'm not. I'm not giving myself a 70 something on physical rating. There's no way. Because I can actually run all day, except when it's just like that. I mean, like football, soccer wise, I can run. We don't run constantly like that. So that, that, that's not soccer, that's not football right there. That's just running like an idiot. But uh, it was boring, one. Number two, I had no music. You guys stole my music when you dropped my phone. Number three, I'm super happy I was able to do five miles. So, like I said, mile one, Gooch. Mile two, I started to slow down, mile three. Uh, I'm starting to get a blister, and it's actually bleeding, so hold up. My socks over. Yeah, I said, oh, hell no, I got blood marks in front of that. How the hell did you see three? But it doesn't matter, my foot hurts, it's all good. Mile four, I was like, I need to get mile four done because I needed to finish at least 80 something in my, uh, my rating. But when I finished mile four, I was like, you know what? I've got 16 flipping laps. I'm finishing four more back. So I I got my inner Naruto in. I pulled out my Rock Lee handbook. And I was like, you know what? I'm not doing what Rock Lee does. I'm not doing five miles and only doing four and a half. And then I have to go do 5,000 jumping jacks. No, it's not how I roll. I complete my task at hand. So total rating. 27 from uh, overall. Uh, we got 19 from the jump and the reach, the reachy thing. And then we, I, it's hard to speak right now, guys. And then we got a total of 50 from here. So that was 46 with 50. Yeah, we got a total of 96 rating. My goal was the four miles, but after I completed 16 laps of four miles, I was like, fuck it. We're, 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 we're finishing it off then. So 96 rating. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I put in the hard work today. Uh, I hope to do episodes uh, 4, 5, and 6 soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys are enjoying the series, please leave a like in the uh, down below. Uh, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions, post down below. Uh, we, we upload seven days a week. We, uh, we live stream seven nights a week. Be sure to check us out, fam. I'm sweating. I'm hot. 
We're gonna go get a drink and uh, go ahead and uh, edit this video fam. And uh, really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the unedited version of the running. So if you wanna see me running for about just less than half an hour. I had to time it, but uh, my timer ended up running out of battery. So I will be able to find out the time and upload from start to finish. So you guys can see how long it actually took me. Just under half an hour, I believe, because my camera when I went to it before I started doing this was at like 40 minutes. <clears throat> so I'm not too sure. Quite just over around half an hour. And then I'm gonna edit it, this video. I'm gonna shorten it down and I'll speed through it with music. And I'll post an unedited video as well so you guys know that I actually did it. Um, unlike the pace test, I mean, which is 100 meters, you guys saw the whole thing. Unlike, yeah, the dribbling, the dribbling, the dribbling, uh, you guys saw the whole thing. Pretty much, I didn't have to really edit any of those two clips, but this one, you're going to have to edit because you don't need a half hour of me running in circles. Peace out, everybody.